Hello! Today we are going to have a small video about the electric chainsaw uh, from the company Alco. Model is uh, uh, EKS 2000-35 and before I start I just want to say that this is my personal tool. I bought it with my own money. I don't receive any kind of sponsorships. So uh, this is going to be more like a testing review because this is an old tool. I have it for uh, many years and I just want to convey my experience to you. All in all, this is a very useful uh, tool. Uh, probably every household with, that uses uh, firewood uh, for heating uh, needs to have one. Also, it's very practical for any uh, small around uh, garden works if you have to have if you have some branches for trimming or some smaller trees. Uh, so, I don't want to talk anymore. We are going to start with the test uh, sawing of the uh, locks, just to show you the power of the of the stool, and then we are going to get back for the internal cleaning and uh, review of the machine. Thank you. Enjoy the video. One more thing before we start testing this chainsaw, I want to mark the level of the oil so we can know, so we can see eventual consumption of the oil during the work. So I will mark. Uh, this like that okay As you can see, we managed to cut this uh, oak log in one go. Uh, speed, it is what it is. Uh, so, just to show you the dimension of the, this log, it's about 28 centimeters by 25 centimeters. Solid piece of oak. So we managed to cut uh, this piece also. As you can see, this time I was going uh, from uh, top to bottom, not across the section. And uh, this is the hardest tree in my region for cutting. There is a few uh, knots here, as you can see. Machine has a problem on this part here. But all, all, all in all, uh, it managed to cut uh, the tree in the time of 1 minute and 36 seconds for this part. 25 by 30 so now you can see the level of the oil as you can see tank is almost empty uh, for your information I have made about 15 cuts about that size and now I need to refill the oil we will see inside how much oil this uh, machine uh, spent during this work 
but bear in mind that this was the extreme, uh, let me say, a cut for this chainsaw. Okay, so cutting is done. Uh, usually I don't uh, use this chainsaw on such a big locks, but this uh, was extreme test for, to see the capabilities of this machine. So after the work, uh, this chainsaw needs to be clean, cleaned. For that uh, purpose, we have only one tool. I will show you how simple it is. And this one nut gives us access to the uh, chainsaw. So next step will be uh, detaching the uh, this uh, blade. We have this uh, uh, screw uh, screwdriver on this side. Small knob here. I will just release it. And so we have loosened the chain then we can get it out so that is about everything on this machine that you need to uh, check now we are going to clean the machine as you can see cleaning of the machine is very easy you just need a simple brush uh, pay particular attention to this uh, ceiling here because the, uh, here is oil is coming out of the reservoir. Machine is done. Now, now the chainsaw. And this blade is uh, 350 uh, millimeters long. Chain is Oregon. So this is the ceiling that keeps the oil uh, inside the chain. So the chain itself requires uh, uh, attention. Periodically you need it to dip it in the oil. But in this case, we are not going to do anything on him. So, now we are going to uh, assemble the blade back on the chainsaw. Uh, we need to pay attention on two things. First is the drive. This is the drive of the machine. And second, this here uh, sprocket. This is for tensioning. Uh, we need to put this hole here and the chain around the drive. As you can see, this is the nice position. Now we need to uh, back, put back this lid on. There is a small notch here. We need a good tension on this nut here because this lid covers the ceiling for the uh, that for, for the oil uh, that on the goes on the chain. Last thing, we need to tension the chain. As you can see, this is a little bit loose. We are going to use this screwdriver head, just a quarter of turn. Okay, a little bit more. Okay, our chain is now ready for work. This is the way I leave my chain every time after work. 
So in order to see how much oil is missing from the tank, I'm going to use this uh, graduated uh, glass uh, bottle to see the exact level of the oil. Okay. This is about 25, maybe 28 milliliters. No, no, let's go exactly 25. Okay, so now we have 25 milliliters in this bottle. Okay, we need maybe 10 more. So this is 10 milliliters more. So uh, total uh, spent oil for during this work is about 35 milliliters. That is a very small uh, quantity of the oil uh, for this kind of uh, work. So we came to the end of this video. Uh, one more thing I forget to mention, that is the security feature of each of this chainsaw, like everybody here and every other chainsaw, it has a stop lever, just to prevent accidents during cutting. Uh, my impression about this, this tool, it is very nice to handle, it is very heavy, uh, when you hold it you have a feeling that this is a real professional tool. Uh, power of this machine is 2000 watts, it's enough for the cutting even a bigger box as you can see but uh, this machine is intended for home use not for the cutting uh, big logs like I do in my testing all in all I'm very satisfied with my machi this machine I recommend it to you also uh, thank you very much for watching this uh, video there is another video also on my channel if you like it you can subscribe it leave a comment comments are particularly nice for me good or bad you can leave whatever you like uh, thank you very much and have a nice day Bye.